Once again, there shall be what? When? Before we even go further, we have to understand what is an embargo. Now, I want to share with you for a few minutes about an embargo. There are three types of embargoes. Now, there are three types of embargoes, and we have to know what are these. What is really an embargo? When I say I put an embargo, it is an English word. It definitely means a stop, as I said earlier on. There are different embargoes. It could be uh, a political embargo. Normally, a political embargo deals with the uh, geopolitical uh, uh, locations. Geopolitical locations like where they do trade this country and this country. And an embargo would mean the end of the trade. An embargo would also mean a stop order. Now, without considering any contract or any existing contract or covenant which is in place at that time. So it is just a cut. Now, there are three types of embargoes in the spirit. This has nothing to do with uh, the geopolitical trade or anything to do with the uh, uh, the worldly embargoes. In the spirit, there are three types of embargoes. Now, when we say a written embargo, what do we mean? What is the meaning of the written embargo? So, we go into the natural, okay? We go into the natural. When we go in the natural, we have different embargoes which some of you have even signed or written with the banks. Could it be overdrafts? Could it be loans? So you write to say if this happens, then this will be a termination. Or we will repossess this. So you sign. Now that is an embargo. It is written. Something that has been written. Now, in the spirit, we do have written embargoes. For example, it is written. If God says it so, God says so. So if, if you are in this world and you are not saved, the Bible says your name is not written in the book of life. So what is written in that book? A punishment. That written thing that has been written there, could become an embargo. No matter how powerful you were, but if God puts down, just down, or when I write this very me, take my pen and put a signature, or I tell you to put a signature, prophetically, spiritually, it could become an embargo to stop something from happening. Somebody say, I hear you, prophet. Now, that is a written embargo. Somebody say, written embargo. Are you following? Now, when you go to the book of Daniel, you find out so many moments where uh, Daniel almost went through certain things. In the book of Daniel, chapter 6, verse 1 to 17, you find out that there was a written decree. All right? From this one, I said, we will not read it. It's okay. You find something was already written. What about this man? When Queen Esther and he was talking about something like that in the morning. The Bible speaks of Haman and Mordecai. Now, Mordecai had 
done so much for the king. And whatever was done was written. What was written became an embargo to stop his death. You didn't hear me. What was written became what? To stop. And the one who wanted to kill him is the one who now so we may have an official written order now in the legal sector we have courts they can write they can put up a stop order that stop order becomes an embargo are you hear what I'm saying now when you go to Isaiah 54 verse 17 God is giving us a certain jurisdiction, a certain perimeter, which is not discovered by many people or accepted rather to a level where you may be sitting where you are sitting, but you may not know you have that power and authority. Because in Isaiah 54 verse 17, the Bible says, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee, it says in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Meaning to say God has given you a particular jurisdiction and power of attorney where you can make a judgment. Now judgment can be done by written judgment. I'm going to talk to somebody here. Uh, I'm going to speak to somebody here. So when we say we put an embargo, I can write it. I can write an embargo to say this is how your family from now. This is how things will begin to happen. When people brought a sinner, a woman, to Jesus. Are you here? Jesus began to write on the floor. And nobody understands what he was writing. But what we hear, the moment he began to write, people who wanted to kill the woman, they ran away. It was a stop order. Whatever he wrote, whatever he wrote, became an embargo. Yes. And the people with their stones like this to stone the woman, when he began to write an embargo on the floor, yes. one by one, the Bible said they began to leave. Are you, are you here or you're home? So we have the written on, uh, uh, embargo. Number one. Number two, we have what is called, are you following? Yes. Mind embargo. Mind embargo. Something can be stopped in your mind. There are so many people here who they don't realize this. But if it's something in your mind, is going in this direction and you want to reverse it to go this direction it is all about your mind in Romans 12 verse 2 the Bible says that we may renew way in our mind so you may be sitting there the Bible said the woman who touched Jesus she was not just healed because she touched Jesus the Bible said for she said in her heart that if I touch, I will be healed. She said where? In her mind, her heart. Look at your neighbor and say there is something you must say. In your heart. Are you hear what I'm saying? So you can actually put an embargo where you are right this very minute. Where you are, where you are. Now, you can actually say now, the Bible said for she said. Now, the disease which was in her body was stopped because she made up her mind to be healed at that point. So you can put an embargo in your mind right as I'm talking now. You can say, you know what? I have made up my mind. This is how things will be. Like Queen Esther. The Bible says, for she said, if I die, I die. You didn't hear me. Something has to change today. If I die, if we perish, so no matter how I come here and say I'm putting an embargo, but if in your mind you have not put a stop order to
to what the devil has been doing, it will not be stopped. Because immediately after the service, he will come to test you. Your response must be, I have no more trade with you. There is an embargo between me. I'm talking to myself. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Somebody say embargo. Now, are you putting the embargo in your mind? Until you say, I'm putting up an embargo. For example, just an example. Somebody has a weakness, a spiritual weakness. Could it be anger? Could it be fear? Could it be drinking? Could it be alcohol? Whatever it could be. Until you have made up your mind, you will not stop. So you must put an embargo. Something. The four lepers in the Bible. The Bible said they were about to die with hunger. And they said, you know what? Anyway, we would die. Nevertheless, we would die. So we must make up a, a decision in our mind. We have to decide to die here or to do something. So they began to walk towards where the soldiers were. And when they were walking, God made their steps to sound like a garrison of soldiers. And soldiers ran away and left the prosperity, gold, money, and they became billionaires. If you make up a mind and buckle tonight, I'm no longer picking poverty in my life. I'm no longer poor. I'm a millionaire. Only if you make that embargo tonight. Oh, yes. Major. How many are following? I want to see the hand of those who are following. Can I see those hands? Some following. I am making an embargo. Hey, 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 hey. International visitors. Oh, yes. Are you here? Somebody say, I am making an embargo tonight. Those watching online. Oh, yes. Are you there? Somebody say, I'm making an embargo tonight. Say, tonight is tonight. Say, I will not allow this thing anymore. Do you know why the enemy fights you? Do you know why all these battles happen? In your mind. The reason why the devil is attacking you. The reason why he's touching you. The reason why he's putting in the predicament that he's putting into. He knows that once he touches you there, your mind will be affected. But I want you to do the, uh, the reverse gear. The reverse psychology. Right in your mind. Put a stop order. I will no longer be a sick woman. My children will no longer be possessed. My family will no longer be like this. I put an embargo. Oh, yes. Somebody shut an embargo. An embargo. Bring it on the Number three. The last one. Oral embargo. Or spoken. Huh. The oral embargo. Or something you say with your mouth. Spoken embargo. Which... You speak with the mouth. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I have a problem with you. So I don't know what this problem could be. But somehow, my biggest problem I see with you, I am receiving more than you. is not understanding what you are saying look at them properly say are you looking at me properly those watching online are you there maybe people are not seeing you properly declare this again say tonight we are putting a full stop to every demonic nonsense it is stopping tonight
Lenka Paya Hande Prakias. Oh, yes. Sherekia Mekia Mekia. Oh, yes. Roja Kapahate. Oh, yes. Losaya Mahata. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Somebody shot we 